past weekend, while I was going out of my way to miss the fucking Oscars, I was abruptly inundated with a metric assload of alarmist messages from you folks claiming my home state of Arizona was about to be broadsided by the Bloomberg gun ban and looking over at boy howdy! Is it ever a fucking gun ban? Overtly embracing the ever vague assault weapons nomenclature, all the while failing to fucking define it, proving in the process one needn't know what something is in order to be fucking afraid of it. The Chris Chan effect, if you will. I could go item for item, but the broad strokes are if your rifle's big, black, scary, and stuffed with bullets, you're probably breaking the law. So too is any gun store that sells or fails to report the existence of such, with some particularly arcane passages of the law pertaining to storage of the weapon which expressly forbid it to be carried in a car as luggage, in the trunk, front, or fucking back, basically anywhere a Clinton would think to hide a body, you better not put a gun there. Mandatory registration with background checks and annual fucking fees to have the privilege of retaining your constitutionally ordained rights. Oh, it's a hoot and a half for a fact. That said, the alarmism is precisely that. Fucking alarmism. Look, there's a few things you folks have to understand about Arizona. However profound the purpling effect in my home state after decades of unchecked illegal immigration, and indeed it has gone purple as a chihuahua's penis, not to mention the recent cascade of California commies fleeing their own electoral mistakes, only to make them all over again in the desert. Truth is, it's really yet to be reflected fully in the fucking state government. The state house remains overwhelmingly red, so even if there were suddenly multiple McCainite defections, good goddamn luck getting the fucking thing to pass in a state that hasn't okayed a major firearms restriction since the dawn of the motherfucking millennium. Look it up. For perspective, Donald Trump himself supported a bump stock ban over a year ago, I think, actually less than that. However, when it washed up on Arizona sandstone shores, we shot that shit down 34 to 25. What do you suppose the chances are an even more authoritarian variant of that bill passes not a full fucking year later with little discernible change in the partisan makeup of the self-same state house in the interim? Even if by some bipartisan Virgin Mary miracle, it somehow found a way to pass. And given that it was submitted along purely partisan lines by just 12 of the 24 Democrats in the House, that's a bigger stretch than movie Bob and a body condom, we still have a Republican governor, such as he fucking is, who'd nevertheless veto it at light speed. Virginia is not Arizona, thank the fucking fates. We're not only the most permissive state for firearms rights, embracing permit-free constitutional carry both concealed and open for over a decade, we've also never really had anything approaching a Charlottesville. Absent any media-made fout rage to shove in our fucking faces on a bi-hourly basis, even if we wanted to give up our guns, there'd be no urgency to do so immediately. It's tough to making the case for curtailing fucking firearms rights when Phoenix is the most populous capital city in the country yet barely makes the top 20 for gun crime while a goddamn gun-free zone like LA or the shytown town shite hole multiply our gun crime statistics by an order of magnitude. If after recording this rant I was so inclined, I could mosey on down to the local pistol purveyor, pick me out a pew-pew implement, emerge all of five minutes later having presented nothing but a fistful of 50s and a fucking ID, strap it on, sans permit, and legally saunter on down the street strapped visibly with nary a consequence provided I'm nowhere near a school, and we still do not rank among the gun crime capitals of the world. Gun control? Here? Good luck. So why all the effort for an inevitable failure, you ask? Simple. Because it's an inevitable failure, it's effectively bereft of consequences for politicians who now, as always, persist on the appearance of action, meaning since the shit won't get nowhere near the fan and they know it, they can safely slap that shit on a campaign poster in an election year, shuffle on back to their deep blue districts and proclaim aloud, at least I fucking tried. From dead in the water background check bills to stillborn semi-auto bans, it's happened a hundred times, it'll happen hundreds more, both in Arizona and elsewhere. When the only consequences of wasting taxpayer cash putting forward failed legislation is getting you re-elected, brace for further failure, my friends. Our permafucked political system, ladies and gentlemen, proud to be a part of it. If there are any long-term consequences, it's that riling up all these gun owners in Arizona, one of the most firearm-friendly states of the union, it's all but guaranteed to turn Maricopa County into a Second Amendment sanctuary, along with several others. And to that I say, bring it the fuck on. I am harder than a mastodon tusk at the prospect of protecting my rights further. So make like Leo DiCaprio to high school dance and Geeter 
fucking done. It's all well and good to have constitutional carry enshrined in the state constitution, but if Virginia taught us anything at all, it's that there ain't a state in the union that isn't a few Bloomberg billions away from going full fucking Fidel Castro. Sure, it's got an eight balls chance in Artie Lang's glove box of actually being passed, but BTFO it, we nevertheless must. For these fuckwads count on continuing to be largely anonymous due to their state level political obscurity. Well, I'm sorry, Rebecca Rios, Layla Alston, David Bradley, Lupe Contreras, Andrea D'Alessandro, Sally Gonzalez, Juan Mendez, Tony Navarrete, Lisa Otondo, Yamasita Pishlaki, Martin Quezada, and Victoria Steele, Veil of Anonymity, Fucking lifted, you limber dick collectivist cunts. Sorry about your silly publicity stunt, but play stupid games, win stupid prizes, shit dick. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. Probably one of them knee-jerk liberals thinks us gun boys will shoot our guns because it's a, an extension of our penises. I never thought about it that way. But this is gun country. And I'll tell you something. Unlike your city, we can walk our streets and through our parks at night and feel safe. Muggers operating out here, they just plain get their asses blown up. <laughs> That's true. <laughs>